In this video, we're going to go over the top treatments for a tear in the labrum of the shoulder. We'll cover everything from physical therapy, steroid injections, regenerative medicine, surgery, and more. Hello, this is Dr. Grant Cooper from Princeton Spine and Joint Center. The labrum of the shoulder is the lining of the shoulder joint. Now specifically, it's the lining of the socket of the ball, the socket of the ball in the ball and socket joint. People of all ages can have fraying or tearing of the shoulder labrum, and this doesn't necessarily go on to cause any symptoms. So, for example, if you take a 50-year-old former baseball pitcher and you get an MRI of their shoulder just for the fun of it or the research of it, there's a decent chance that you're going to see some wear and tear of the labrum, even if that former baseball player doesn't report any shoulder pain and never had any shoulder pain. Now, with that said, labral tears sometimes will cause bad terrible pain in the shoulder, and they'll limit the range of motion of that shoulder. Sometimes, depending on the tear, along with pain and decreased range of motion, there may be popping, catching, and or locking of the shoulder. Now, initial treatment is often rest and modified activities to allow the shoulder to heal. You can take non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medication, and this may play some small role in helping to calm the inflammation in the shoulder, but really, these medications like Advil or Aleve are better used to control the pain in the short term. If you had a shoulder labral tear and you took ibuprofen for a week and you also rested the shoulder and after that the pain was gone, you might reasonably presume that the Advil took away the inflammation and the pain. In fact, it's much more likely that the Advil controlled the pain and a week of relative rest allowed the inflammation to self-resolve. And this is because very little of what you take by mouth will actually reach the shoulder joint itself. Now, targeted exercise and physical therapy can be very helpful for shoulder labral tears. Exercises will focus on increasing your shoulder's passive and active range of motion, as well as building strength and stability in the rotator cuff and performing scapular stabilizing exercises, which are also very important, but sometimes overlooked. Now, if the labral tear can, came because of a repetitive activity, such as throwing or swinging a club, then it's helpful to also evaluate your form with a therapist to see if that form can be optimized to take the pressure off the shoulder in the future. When these conservative measures aren't sufficient, there are more invasive options. Injections performed under x-ray or ultrasound guidance can be helpful. The most common injection is a steroid injection. Steroids are powerful anti-inflammatory medications, and they will often help relieve inflammation in the short term. Steroids, though, they can weaken the cartilage in a shoulder joint, so they should be used sparingly, if at all. Now, when steroid injections or any other injection approach is used, they should be paired with targeted exercise so that the inflammation is addressed, but so are the biomechanics so that the inflammation doesn't return when the medications wear off. An injection approach that I personally prefer for shoulder labral tears is something called visco supplementation. Now, visco supplementation injections are injections of hyaluronic acid or joint fluid that are then injected directly into the shoulder joint. So if you think of a labral tear as like a pothole in the road, you can think of visco supplementation as a way to pave over that pothole with essentially a, synth a synthetic joint fluid. Another injection approach that's gained favor recently is regenerative medicine. Specifically, in the shoulder, platelet-rich plasma, also known as PRP, or also mesenchymal stem cells from your body's own bone marrow, can be injected into the shoulder joint to help the body heal itself. Now finally, if the labral tear is not improving with good conservative care, then arthroscopic surgery, which is a minimally invasive procedure in which a surgeon places a special device with a small camera into your shoulder joint in order to clean out and repair the damaged labrum can be considered. After a shoulder labral tear surgery, you can expect to rest your shoulder for about six to eight weeks to allow for healing. And after eight or 12 weeks um, or so, strengthening of the shoulder and physical therapy will generally start. And a full recovery is hoped for after several months, usually about four to six months. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And as always, if you have any questions or comments about this topic or suggestions for a future video, then I'd love to hear from you in the comments section. I wish you all the best of health. Thank you.